There's a new strategy that churches are using to significantly boost signups and next steps every single week. And if you ignore this strategy, you can miss out on one of the easiest ways to improve engagement at your church. The secret? A new technique called the Central Hub Strategy. Here's a church that started using this strategy and saw their connections, small group engagement, and outreach more than double. And in this video, I'll show you exactly what the Central Hub Strategy is and how it works step by step. Well, hey there, I'm Brady Shearer, the CEO of Pro Church Tools and the creator of Nucleus. And if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Last year, Forefront Church was struggling with engagement. As their lead pastor, Jason, told me, when I first came on staff, there were sign-up sheets for everything at the connections table, a connection card, a first timer card, a sign-up for welcome lunch card. People were getting lost in all of it. We still saw people making decisions for Christ and getting baptized, but not much after that. You know, on paper, Forefront was doing everything right. Sign-up sheets, connection cards for new visitors, connection cards for the existing congregation, a table in the lobby, but people still weren't taking next steps. The church was stagnant. But here's what happened next. After following my advice and implementing the Central Hub strategy, Forefront's next steps increased dramatically. Take a look for yourself. Connections more than doubled from 15 to 31%. Small group engagement close to doubled from 42% to 74%. And the fall outreach more than doubled from 400 to 900 people with pre-tickets sold increasing by 53%. It gets better though, because not only have next steps increased, but event attendance is up also. Easter attendance went up from 802 people in 2017 to 998 in 2018, with similar upticks on Christmas, fall kickoff, and more. To quote lead pastor Jason, the central hub strategy makes it easier for people to know what's happening and invite their friends. There's even more because more people are even listening and watching sermons. Jason says, even our podcast numbers went up using the central hub strategy. More people are viewing our messages and sermon videos because they're more accessible now. Now, you might be wondering, how did they do it? It's four simple words, the central hub strategy. And in this video, I'll show you how to implement this strategy at your church to see similar results in five simple steps. Let's begin with step number one. The central hub strategy is wildly simple and easy to implement, and it's all rooted in one simple truth. Next steps are more important than church attendance. Here's how Forefront explains it. We strive to measure next steps, not seats filled. Because here's the bottom line. Every church's reason for existence can be condensed into three simple phrases. Love God, love people, and make disciples. Now, pay special attention to each of those three objectives. Love God, love people, make disciples. Do you see how each of these objectives begins with a verb? Each objective demands action. And this is why next steps are more important than church attendance. Is church attendance a type of next step? Yeah, absolutely, but it's just one type of next step in your church. Now you might be wondering, well, what exactly is a next step? Well, simply stated, a next step is any action a person takes towards loving God, loving people, and making disciples. Because that's what really matters, right? And in my experience, there are at least 17 different next steps almost every church should be tracking. And you'll find a link in the show notes below to learn all about each of those next steps. Still not convinced? Consider what Carrie Newhoff says about this. At our church, I find our most engaged people, people who serve, give, invite, and who are in a community group are our most frequent attenders. Bottom line, focus on next steps and attendance will follow. And now that you understand the driving principle behind the Central Hub strategy, let's move on to step number two. In step number two, it's time to show you exactly what the Central Hub strategy is and how to implement it at your church. First, here's how most churches promote next steps. Most churches confuse their congregations with chaotic messaging. Check the bulletin, call the church, talk to the pastor. And sadly, messy communication like this is complicated and results in fewer next steps. Most churches confuse their congregation with chaotic messaging. Just think about all the different connection points that churches will use on a weekly basis. Check the bulletin, call the church, talk to the pastor, visit the table in the lobby, download the app, check out the website, email the ministry leader. Ugh, just saying all those out loud is tough. And sadly, messy communication like this is complicated and results in fewer next steps. The solution? The Central Hub strategy consolidates every connection point into a single destination for every next step, always. And here's what that looks like. The Central Hub strategy eliminates congregation confusion once and for all by merging every next step into a single destination. The results, more next steps in your church every single week. 
Don't believe me? Hey, it's not just Forefront that's seeing huge results with the Central Hub strategy. Thousands of churches have begun adapting this model. Before our Central Hub, people at my church had so much trouble knowing where to go to find information. Email addresses were constantly forgotten, bulletins thrown away, our connection desk was cluttered, but with the Central Hub, our members know exactly where to look, says Chris Taylor. And don't be discouraged into thinking that this is only for big churches or young and trendy churches because it's not the case. You know, we're a church of all ages. Our first event using the Central Hub strategy was our summer baptism and picnic, and we had an overwhelming response. More registrations than we've ever had received versus the old C patty at the table after the service method. We now use our Central Hub exclusively for all registrations, and that's from Patty Dowling. Now, on to step number three, the three rules of the Central Hub strategy for making it work. Let's talk about these three rules that you need to properly implement if you want the Central Hub strategy to actually work. Rule number one, the Central Hub must be accessible 24 seven. Consider this, your week has 168 hours. And if Sunday service is just one hour, how is your church reaching people in the other 167? This is one of the biggest downsides of using bulletins or your church's lobby to facilitate next steps. Sure, it works on Sunday, but what about the other six days of the week? This is why the central hub at your church needs to be available at all times. Consider what Adam had to say about the central hub strategy at his church. The central hub gave us the ability to promote things on Facebook with an immediate action step. So all of a sudden, people were signing up for things all week long. We used to only have people indicate interest on Sundays for something, but now we have more people sign up on weekdays for things. Now, on to rule number two of the central hub strategy. Rule number two, the central hub must be accessible from every device. Your central hub, if it's gonna work, needs to be accessible from phones, laptops, tablets, and desktops. And this is why we never recommend using a downloadable mobile app for your church's central hub. Why? Well, because an app is only accessible after downloading it and you can't access it at all from laptops or desktop computers. So you're immediately losing half of your access points, which is not good at all. Here's the bottom line. Your central hub should always be a website. A website is accessible 24 seven and also reachable from every device. Finally, rule number three, the central hub must be able to capture, store and distribute information. Remember, the purpose of the central hub strategy is next steps. People in your church taking action, signing up for baptism, joining a small group, giving, registering for events, volunteering, submitting prayer requests. And as it turns out, Every next step requires a certain level of submitted information. Knowing this, the central hub needs to be able to capture that info, store it in a database, and then distribute that info where it needs to go. So for example, imagine a person signs up to join a small group. That info should be stored in the central hub and the leader of that small group should be automatically notified that a new person is wanting to join. Now, a traditional church website likely won't allow you to do all the things that the central hub requires because most church websites are essentially digital versions of a yellow pages listing. Sure, they've got information about the church, but when it comes to next steps, options are limited. And here's the good news. We've taken the initiative to build from scratch the world's first and only central hub platform for churches. We call it Nucleus. Nucleus can be the software that powers your church's central hub because it was built for that precise purpose and comes with all the features that the central hub strategy requires. Most importantly, the Nucleus drag and drop editor is incredibly simple and straightforward to use. In fact, it was specifically designed to be used by the everyday church staff volunteer or member. So no coding skills are needed. Wanna know the real best part? Nucleus is 100% free to try. If you head to nucleus.church, you can get a 30 day free trial with no credit card required to see if it might be a good fit for you. Just head to www.nucleus.church and you can start building your central hub for free. All right, now we've moved on to step number four, the science behind the central hub strategy. Now, I've seen the central hub strategy work in countless churches, but why is it so effective? Well, simply put, less options equal more action. Here's the proof. In 2000, psychologists Sheena Iyengar and Mark Lepper published a remarkable study. On one day, shoppers at an upscale food market saw a display with 24 varieties of gourmet jam, and those who sampled the spreads received a $1 coupon off any jam. On another day, shoppers saw a similar table, except there were only six varieties of jam on display this time, and they got the same coupon again. Now here's where things get interesting. The large display attracted more interest than the small one, but when the time came to purchase, people who saw the small display were 10 times more likely to buy than those who saw the larger display. Less options equal more action. Here's another example. Whirlpool, the appliance manufacturer, conducted a test by sending two different email campaigns. In the first email, multiple links were offered. In the second email, just one action link was included. 
The results, the email campaign with just one call to action link saw 42% more clicks than the campaign with multiple links. Again, less options equal more action. And there's even more than that. Neil Patel, a highly regarded marketing expert, saw a 26% boost in conversion rates on his contact form simply by eliminating a single form field, reducing his overall number of fields from four to three. Similarly, ImageScape saw a 120% increase on their form submissions after condensing from 11 fields to four. Here's the bottom line. The central hub strategy is low hanging fruit. Simply by consolidating every connection point at your church into a single destination, you can see an increase in next steps. So don't overcomplicate things, make it simple, make it easy because less is more. And don't forget, less options equal more action. Finally, step number five, Common objections. No doubt about it. If you've been watching this video, you're probably excited about the prospect of using the central hub strategy at your church, but maybe you're still a bit hesitant. Well, don't worry. I get it. Remember, this strategy is already working for thousands of churches and it can work for you too. With that being said, here are the most common questions I hear about the central hub strategy. Question number one, does the central hub website replace our existing website or is it a different site altogether? Answer? whichever you prefer. For example, Forefront has their main website at forefront.org and their nucleus central hub at forefrontchurch.info. Uh, similarly, Church on the Move has their main website at churchonthemove.com and their central hub at cotm.info. On the other hand, Life Abundant uses Nucleus as both their central hub and their main website at lifeabundant.info. So it's totally your call. My recommendation, if you're a smaller church, use the central hub strategy as your main website and your central hub. And if you're a larger church, consider using the central hub strategy as your insiders only site. Question number two, does the central hub strategy mean we should eliminate our physical connect card and or printed bulletin? Well, not necessarily. Of course, you can make the switch to a completely digital strategy if you choose, but if you're feeling internal pushback, print media can still play a role within the central hub strategy. And to make this as easy as possible, we have connect card templates and bulletin templates specifically made to work with your church's central hub. Simply visit the full post for this video. It's linked in the YouTube description and you can download these templates for free. Question number three, how do I promote the central hub within my church? And how do I get everyone on board with this new strategy? Well, the best thing that you can do is to be persistent and consistent. Uh, here's what Jason from Forefront Church said about this. Overall, we've had greater interaction with Nucleus. And if you build it into your overall strategy of leading people to next steps and bang the drum loudly enough and often, you'll see results over time. But that's really just part of the story because here are some other pro tips. When presenting announcements at your church, the central hub should always be the next step you promote. How can you do this? Well, I've personally presented more than 30,000 church announcements and I've developed a two-part formula that works very well. Click the link in the YouTube description to discover that formula. It gets better because another great promotion strategy for the central hub is to configure an inexpensive lobby kiosk by using tablets and stands that are available on Amazon. By doing this, you can construct a full lobby kiosk to promote the central hub at your church. Of course, Every person in your church with a mobile device is walking around with the central hub in their pocket, but for those more resistant to change, the lobby kiosk will work wonders. The walkthrough guide on how to create your lobby kiosk is also linked in the YouTube description. Lastly, the final piece of the central hub promotion puzzle is to use your screens to point people to the central hub website. We've created customizable graphics to make this easy and every Nucleus user gains access to these promotional Photoshop graphics for free. And finally, question number four, will this strategy work for smaller and or older churches? Answer, the central hub strategy works in churches of all sizes and ages. Consider this, according to Google, those age 50 plus spend an average of 19 hours online every week. Bottom line, don't fall for the misconception that older people don't already use and love digital media. It's just untrue. And if you're looking for real examples of churches that are using Nucleus and the central hub strategy, you'll find a list of our favorite Nucleus central hub websites to inspire you and show you what's working for real churches using this strategy every single week. And of course, that link is also in the YouTube description. And now it's your turn. The central hub strategy is a proven method for increasing next steps and engagement at your church. It doesn't require a ton of time and it's wildly affordable. In fact, in most cases, it's actually saving churches money. The best part, we've taken the initiative to build from scratch the world's first and only central hub platform for churches. We call it Nucleus. 
Here's the good news. Nucleus is 100% free to join and you don't even need a credit card to get started. Just visit www.nucleus.church to sign up for free and start building your church's central hub today. And if you learned something new from this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And again, click the links in the YouTube description to visit the full post for this video where you'll find all the notes, links, free downloads, and resources mentioned. And now I'm gonna turn things over to you. Which part of the central hub strategy are you most excited about? Let me know by leaving your answer in the comments on this YouTube video.